Should I mark you as four horsemen? Should I mark you as four horsemen? <laughs> so I'm trying to bring back four horsemen. I'm not even. <laughs> four horsemen, one man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, they got they got Brian H. They got Juan Zerbani. They've got uh, uh, LOC Lock. Lock is in it now, yeah. But that was after Josh Wong left, right? Yeah. I think that's about it. I don't know who else is in that team. Uh, Reki, uh, Techie, I mean. Wasn't he in it back in the day? What's up? Techie? Yeah, Techie was, was there before, too. Get ready for the next battle. Okay, Lee and Armor King versus Paul and Devil Jim. Round should be good. Fight! Fight! I think um, Lee versus Paul is definitely yeah. Paul's favorite. Just because uh, most of Lee's moves are minus uh, 13. And Paul's 13 frame punish is really good. Like back one, two, that's 48 damage from blocking a hop kick. Or anything minus 13. So like he can punish Lee really hard. How big are the health bars? 200? What's up? How big are the health bars? 200? Nah, it's actually, uh, I think it's a hundred something. It's, it's less than Tekken 6. Oh, really? Yeah, the Tekken light bars. Tekken 6 is 200. Yeah. So it's less. Oh, so it's probably 200 if you're playing single character. Yeah. It's like, I think it's like 160, 180, something like that. I know I know the health bar is way smaller. Though. But I think if the, if the health bars were as big as Tekken 6, it would take you long. It's character. That's why you see. Look at that. Like, one demo, man. Round Oh, that's side step one two right there. The free combo. It's an instant running throw. That took away. Nah, that, that left. Wow, wow. That took that. That was even raised. That was regular hit. God damn. Like you saw that he did a regular tiger stone combo and left him a lot of red health. That's recovery health right there. If you would've, would've just did like a tiger move and just did like a solo combo, it would it would take away his red health. Wait. If you do like a a, a tag move, let's say uh, Devil Jin's electric, like a launcher into tag. Yeah, you you take away red health like that. Oh, each time you do it. Yeah, every time you do it, take away red health. But if you do a tag, how much red health does it take? Oh, uh, it depends on the on the on the character. I was wondering why sometimes people's red health disappear. Yeah, it's because if you do a tag move launcher into a combo, you take away red health like that. But if you do a if you do a regular tag assault combo. It leaves them with a lot of red health, depending on how much damage you take. And it also leaves their secondary character in rage. Which oh, is, right. like, that's why you don't really want to do a tag assault combo early in the game. Because let's say you know you do at the beginning of the game, he tags out when he does like four deficits and take like a big chunk. So a lot of people, a lot of people are not used to playing the game too properly yet. I think once the game evolves, people will use less tag assaults. I'm have, I personally am having a really hard time figuring the game out. It's, it's tough. It's it's too many button combinations. Yeah. Because of all the tag stuff. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's, it's harder. The tag system alone just makes it harder. This game is definitely harder to play in Tekken 6, that's for sure. Tekken 6 is one character. I can play Tekken 6. Yeah, that's that's a lot easier. This I played a character that was like a Soul Calibur character in that too. Asuka? Asuka, yeah. You should try Jun. Jun and Asuka? Well, everyone tells me to try Ling Xiaoyu. Oh, wow. Yeah, Who won that? I wasn't paying attention. Um, I think Zero won that. Yeah, Zero won that. Get ready for the next battle. All right, so we got second match. Zero won the first one. First of three, uh, loses final. Down for one to start of the game. Quarterback one. That hits grounded if you move. The quarterback one will fall. Yep, we lost to four. Down back, down back four. Armor King. Nice poke. That's nasty combo. Yep, you step the correct way. But Paul also has homie move options if you step that. If you step out of the sway, it's kind of risky. Wow, nice combo. Oh, he messed up. Oh, he could have punched. Okay, sway low plus four. Ah, that's two, two, three counter hit. That's, that's two combo. Yeah, you don't want to get hit with that on counter hit. That's 10 frames. Natural combo on counter hit, wall splats. See how Brian H playing? I think Brian H should play a little bit more safe, a little bit more turly. Because, uh, 
Both Zero's characters are really good at whiff punishment and counter hits. Especially Armor King, he has Dark Up here. So what is the difference between Armor King and regular King? Um, it's, a, it's actually a lot of big differences. Uh, Armor King has a Wind God Fist, like a Mishima. Not electric, but a Wind God Fist. Uh -huh. He also has, uh, he has better pokes than King too. And, um, uh, he has a wave dash too. He has like a solid, he has like a wave dash, like a Mishima. He's like a, a Mishima version of King, pretty much. That's what he is. I'm not seeing any Korean backdash canceling. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why. Ryan H never really, doesn't really put Korean backdash cancel too much. But it's probably because, uh, Paul, Paul's a sway character. So it's harder to, what just happened? Somebody pause. Armor King is definitely better than King, though. Yeah, like I was saying, though, well, um, with Sway characters, it's a lot harder to Korean backdash with them because they have a Sway. So you have to do a perfect Korean backdash. You have to press down back every time. Otherwise, you fall into that Sway. Yeah, you were doing the Sway. You press down by accident. So it's a lot harder. Like with uh, Paul, Nina, Brian, characters like that, it's a lot harder to Korean backdash with. <laughs> the guy said, who's that serial killer sitting in the back? Fucking <laughs> stream monsters, <laughs> Yeah, they're, yeah. <laughs> they're talking about you. Uh, that's crazy, man. Wow, that hurt. That demo man. Oh, he should have baited that tag dive. That was pretty, that was pretty obvious that he was going to uh, tag dive right there. Yeah, if you, bait a, if you bait a tag dive, if a tag dive whips, you get what a free combo. Tag dive? Attack dive is that what they do? Attack doing. crash? Yeah, the attack crash. Pretty much. Okay. If they whiff it, you could you get a free combo. Like you do a down for one float into bound. All right. Yeah. Because whenever I saw someone doing that, I tried to get a uh, forward two with Oscar lock. Yeah. And it never worked. And you, I guess you just, just flip, right? Well, if you um, you have to wait till they fully recover. New when they challenge. if they fully recover, you get a free forward two. It gets a full launch. But if you do it while the animation of still, them still diving, uh -huh. you have to do a float. It's a float. It floats when you hit them. Uh, all right. So you have to wait fully. I'm blocked. It's not punishable at all. No, nah, I'm blocking six. But I think people also should do less tag dives because when you uh when you do tag dives, it takes away your second character's red health. So if your character has a lot of recovery health, it's gonna take it all away. So I, I think it's best for people just to do raw tags. Okay, side step hop kick. Bound. Back to Mr. Oh, he messes up the back to Mr. That's Demo Man right yeah. there. Oh, he blocked it. Good punishment. Well, I have to Bringing that I have double jump. Oh, he baited. He could have got more than that. All right. While running right there. Down for three, two, three. While staying two. Ah, oh, he could have punished it better. Looks like Brian Ace is having a lot of trouble with movement and stuff in this match. Oh, good, good high kick. Ah, you gotta be, you gotta be really careful how you tag in this game, because people are always baiting tags, when, especially when your energy is low. Or if you're too predictable with your tag, you tag in, tags out, people are gonna punish you. Yeah, Brian Ace, Brian Ace is having a lot of trouble. He's tagging in wrong. He got launch. You see the red health? He's taking away the red health. All right, good. Good, he ducks back four. But he has to be careful with that string lead. Good, he gets to work to the full four three. Yeah, so he did a tag crash, so he lost all the red health on his character. Yep. If you do a tag combo, you take all the red health from the opponent's character. Yeah, if you do a like a roll, like a not a not a tag assault combo, but a tag combo. Yeah, I know. All right. Launch your tag. Yeah, that's the best thing to do. Does it take it immediately or do you have to get a hit? With the following character. Yeah, uh, the more hits it gets, though, the more it takes. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah, and they can't recover that health, so that's that's rough. I think the best teams are the teams that take away the most red health. Wasn't there a second type of health? Uh, what you mean? In like in the original arcade version? Nah, that that's all they had. All right. Yeah. Just red and blue. Yeah. The rage is definitely not as comparable as Tekken 6 because the rage in Tekken 6 when your energy is low, you always have it. Yeah, this is uh, revenge. Yeah. It's a bit different. Yeah, you only could get like twice per match, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Like, well, the rage in, uh, it's in Tekken 6 is not a new idea. I mean, 
the original Tech Attack had the revenge system. Oh, I didn't, I didn't play Tag didn't Assault. Oh. Yeah, if you do a, a Tag Assault throw, you also take away uh, red health. I, I can't believe Ryan is lost. Yeah, me neither. So I guess that's me playing right now. Yep.